Welcome to Clarity. Now that it is discovered, we can go ahead and we can head over to provision and inventory and we should see it under unassigned devices. Which we do. It is doing a sync. This is very common. So the sync, it's just kind of pulling the device and pulling in information. So that way you can go ahead and it can check and make sure that it does meet compliance and all sorts of other information about the device. And if we click in here, you can see all sorts of information that it's already pulling in. does pull the configurations so we'll go ahead and we'll let it finish getting it sync and then from there we will move on to the next step which is to provision the device now let's go ahead and get it provisioned dna center about this particular device so we're going to select the device that we want to provision actions provision and you can assign the device to site or you can provision it so in this particular instance when you provision the device, it will definitely push all of the configuration, um, any profiles or templates, anything assigned to that particular site that you're going to add the device to. This is this is full blown. So the assigned to site, I'm honestly not sure what configuration this will push to the switch. So why don't we go ahead and we'll assign it to the site first and then we'll provision it. And then we can go ahead and see the differences between them. So we're gonna choose the site. Uh, in this particular case, let's go ahead and let's put it in West Pasco Government Center and let's say first floor. Now the devices, you don't have to assign all the way to the floor level if you don't want. We could just assign it to the building itself. But in this particular case, let's go ahead and let's just drop it on the floor. And we'll click next and now we can see that although TrustSec is not enabled we have dna center as a netflow collector SNM, uh, snmp trap receiver and syslog server and it will go ahead and it will deploy the um dna certificates to the switch so when the device is discovered it just adds it to dna center's inventory and then after it's discovered, assigning it to the site will add all of the uh, information gathering settings as well as uh, the certificates to allow DNA Center to appropriately manage the device. So let's go ahead and um, this is also a feature. Let's go ahead and let's run this first. Most of the configuration settings in DNA Center now will allow you to generate a configuration preview which I find is incredibly helpful because you want to know what DNA center is doing before DNA does it. That way you get a little more comfortable with the configuration that it's pushing. You're a little more confident and DNA is doing actually what you want it to do and you understand what it's doing. So we can take a look here. It is building that configuration preview for us. So we'll go ahead and we'll wait for that to load and then we'll provision the device and then we'll review what configuration it's going to push as it's pushing. All right, so we can see that uh, the configuration preview has been generated. So now we're gonna go back over and let's get this guy assigned to a site. Um, again, and we're, we're just gonna crawl walk run this. So that way we get really comfortable on what DNA Center is doing. And then as you are more comfortable, instead of assigning the device to the site first, you'll just go ahead and you'll just provision it. And part of that provisioning component is adding the device to the site. And again, this could be scheduled for any time you would like. However, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna provision it now because a lot of these changes are completely passive. It won't affect production at all. So we're going to let this do its thing and let's head back over here. And again, uh, to get to this menu, you're going to go to activities and here you can see the tasks that DNA is working on or the work items that you had DNA center do for you. And this is all the configuration that DNA center is going to push to your switch right now.
So if we head over, we should see it gone from unassigned devices because the device is now assigned. And then if we click Pasco County, right, we can see it. If we click East Pasco, we won't see it. Um, and again, if we click West Pasco or Floor 1 specifically, we can see it. So now this device has been configured. We can see exactly what DNA Center has pushed to it. Right. And the last step is to finally provision our device. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to select the device again, actions, provision, and then provision device. From here, we can, we would assign it to a site if it wasn't already assigned, but it is, so we're not, we're not going to touch that. Under advanced configurations, there are no advanced configurations assigned to this. There's no uh, templates. There's no device models. Again, those will, we'll get into in later videos when we cover template editors and, and things of that nature. And then really taking a look at this, a lot of this config has already been pushed, all of this down here from the, Cislo, or from the uh, Cisco TrustSec credentials down. And then from the uh, DNS primary server up, these are the configurations that we built under the network design. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to push these. And again, we can do a generate configuration preview, but at the end of this, I'm gonna show some compares so that way we can see what DNA Center's done and you guys can review those. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna roll with it because this video is getting a little on the longer side. And again, everything we can go ahead that DNA Center's doing, we can take a look at under the tasks. All right, and the provision is now complete. And we have a fully discovered, fully provisioned network device.